welcome back so in this video you will be working right on the places API through Google Maps search first of all close that dot file from here and go to wordlips create a new directory by the name places API with Google and right click on this directory create a new dart file and gonna name this as a places API Google in here we will have start for the widget so write ST in here now simply give the name places API Google map search now just simply double this key const and click upon the start for widget import the library material dot dot now simply copy that name from here go towards the main dot dot remove that from here remove it and pass the places api click upon that import the library and all just fine in here add the presses like that and in here you guys can see that totally black screen is totally empty because right in the places api let me just show you there is just a empty container so that why you guys can see that empty screen totally black and it's a straightforward widget it's automatically just reload the app and you guys can see that so now open the browser and search for google map api console in here open that first one google map here we are right in the google maps platform now in here i have already just selected the project right in the first video and you guys know about that already so right after that we will go to the APIs and services click upon that and scroll down you can simply just enable that places API from here or you can just come here and search for in here okay like that in here and click upon that enable you will just enable it just wait for a while so if you go back to places API it's enabled now as you guys can see has been enabled so you can also just read the documentation and that's it now we will go towards the android studio first let me just open the emulator from here all is fine now we will simply go to wordgpubspec.yml and we will add some dependencies so open the browser and search for pub.dev pub.dev here here we are open that first one and simply search for http that one a multi-platform feature based API for http requests so basically it's a protocol used for communication on the world wide web and it's allow webs to request and also to retrieve resources so we are using that for the places API for requesting the specific place now what I'll do I'll just open that and go towards the installing and from here I'll copy that dependency go towards the android studio in here back again below this geolocator paste it with a proper alignment like that now go towards the pub.dev and this time we will search for UID 
so this uid gonna generate for us a unique id and we will use that in our session token to just get the required places api and gonna generate a unique id for us so click upon that use your id and go towards the installing from here copy that dependencies go towards the android studio Pillow this in here past with the proper alignment like that and hit the pub get it will import it just wait for a while so we are done with that close that from here go towards the places api dot file in here let me just make sure one more time I'll just cut again in here now we will provide a combination of two color for this specific screen so it will look more good for time saving I'll just go in here and you guys can see that decoration from here to here we will copy it and go to the places api google dot dot close that one and in here back again that dot file add in this container paste it and below that in here you will have a child and gonna take this scaffold widget and there you will just have the background color in order to get that specific color so in here we'll have a transparent in here correct the spelling and then we go for a transparent press the control s and you guys will notice the changes there we go now we will also just add the app bar app bar widget in here there is no need of that but I'll just add it in order to recognize it much better and what I'll do now I'll just add the title in it text widget in here and I'm gonna say places pi google map search and I'll just find add the const modifier to it we're gonna just set this right in the center so you'll just get this down from here and in here we'll say center title true now below this app bar in here we'll have body okay For now on remove that in here back again like that press the control s and you guys will notice the app bar okay there we go and also we will just add the decoration for this app bar also so what I'll do in here we will have flexible space right in the app bar in there okay flexible space gonna take the container widget and right in there we will just provide that decoration so copy it from here to here and paste it down in here press the control s there we go now you will just change the color position so teal will be here and orange will be here so then we can just notice the difference control s there we go okay and now below the amp bar in here we'll have body and right in the body we'll do some padding padding widget in here edge insect we will go with a dot symmetric we will just set the vertical to 12 and below that now below that we're going to take the chart and gonna have the column widget in here and right in there gonna take the children and in here we will have a text form field widget with a capital T in here text form field and we're gonna just take those brushes down in here we will do the decoration in which we will say in text and the text gonna be something like search here for the search bar we're gonna show that specific text and we're gonna go right at top create the controller so whenever the user will enter something right in the search bar it's gonna then store 
and in that specific control that we are about to create so above the widget bill in here you guys can see we will say final provide that key first so it's going to be non-changeable so in here we will say text editing controller gonna give the name as a controller and gonna provide the text editing controller added and semicolon and also you will make that private object name here now just go down and write in this text form field we will say controller and gonna provide the control that we just created a while ago in here now we will just press the control s and check the output there we go and you guys can see the search bar in here and also the hint tag search here so for now on it's just a UI design okay so whenever we will just complete all the work remaining work then we will be able to search in here for a specific places through the Google Places API now add the columns modifier and basically that's it for this video right from the next video we will work further so see you then